what's going on guys god bless you carlos here with serrano's mobile detail in dallas texas thank you so much for joining me in today's video today we are at extreme trailer sales they even gave me a little hat check it out it's orange uh, but no we are here at extreme trailer sales uh, today we're going to be working on this uh, gmc denali 3500 i was going to say 2500 but no it's a 3500 um, it is a brand new truck customer just got it uh, so he gave me an opportunity uh, to uh, protect it right we're going to be doing a one-step paint correction on this one and we're going to be doing a five-year uh, ceramic coating on it right but before we start this video we got to do the initial uh, strip wash we got to do the iron decontamination we got to wash it thoroughly clean the wheels and then um, as we progress they're actually going to clean the little bay out a little bit for me so that I can put the truck in here um, and I'm able to work in here because it is a bit hot and coating a vehicle outside is a little bit difficult. It's doable, but difficult, right? Um, so if, without anything else, let's, uh, let's get started with this car. All right, so really quick, we wanna, I want to show you guys the before on the paint. So right now there is protection, right? So the goal of this phase is to remove all this protection it has so it can be flat uh, so that it's gonna help us in the end. Strip washing phase, uh, again, I, that MJJC, that Canon, it is, man, it's shaving cream. So what I tend to do is initially the first time I will foam it, let the product or let the soap um, just dwell, right? Let the soap, uh, remove everything that the paint could have for the strip wash we're using the uh, bucket naked I'll be posting a link uh, to the description on this one uh, but this is what I use as a strip wash uh, so this is going to remove all the waxes all the sealants anything that the paint could have it's gonna remove it and you're gonna start noticing right now when I hit it with water it's gonna be it's gonna be flat And there you go so before if you guys remember that video i showed you guys there was a lot of beating after we use the strip wash look at that it's flat so that's what you're looking for um, whenever you're trying to do like any paint correction any waxing this is very crucial because you want to remove everything off of the paint uh, before you do anything whether it's waxing or whether you're going to do a spray sealant um, it's really important this process here so we started with beating with protection now we've successfully removed it all off in the first this is just the first pass sometimes some cars you will do maybe two or three because there's just so much build up into the paint as far as protection they could put like waxes over waxes over waxes so it just creates like a big old barrier but on the first strip wash check it out it is flat so that's what you are um that's what you're looking for is a flat paint so now we're good to go and it's smooth so Theoretically, there's two ways you can handle this. Some people will go the strip wash method and then they'll go to the um, paint correction. For me, is I'll do the strip wash and then I'll go to a, um, we'll use a light clay. Uh, be, be very light because there's nothing on this paint so we don't want to mar it too much. Uh, so that's the route I will take is strip wash, clay, and then we're going to do the correction. Um, but some people will probably skip the clay part just because it is smooth. So I'm going to finish uh, doing the strip wash and doing all that. And then uh, we'll start with the correction. So, but very cool. One pass on the strip wash using the Drive Auto Appearance uh, Bucket Naked Soap. Uh, and we're good to go. All right, so really quickly, guys, I wanted to show you guys um, what I'm working with. And throughout this video, let me see if I can find it. Here it is. You're going to see this little spot right there. And it's like... I don't know it's like a burn mark or what it could be but it has this faint spot right there it's so weird it has it here there's another one like right up here somewhere um, but there's like a little bit all over it's crazy it's so weird um, but hopefully we can blend that in we're gonna go with the uh, m21 millimeter with a 21 inch 
um, Rupes foam pad, and we're also using uh, Coach Kemi F6. I was gonna go with M302, but after uh, noticing it had some nice little scratches all around the paint, um, so I said, you know what, let's upgrade it and let's go with F6. And we're doing it at a speed five. And you guys are gonna say, oh my gosh, you don't tape this. Well, I'm very cautious, I'm real careful. This area here, I will always go pretty slow where the plastic hits. I don't even polish by the plastic. So I usually polish like right above it. Um, we'll start at a speed two to blend and then we're gonna bump it up to a five. obviously we have 21 millimeters of throw so you got to take into consideration that that spinning right so just kind of keep an eye on it and just control your polisher right by right by the plastic and you should be okay all right guys so this truck is looking pretty pretty good i've gone ahead and finished uh pretty much the whole truck as far as the paint correction uh, I just finished uh, the grill, uh, so now we're going to do the panel prep, and then we're going to coat. Uh, but man, I'm so happy they put me inside this bay today. It is way too hot. Um, but funny story on this, if you guys follow um, uh, Details Auto or Joel Details uh, with Sal and Joel, you've probably heard them say uh, the uh, baloney sandwich effect I think that's how you say it but I brought my bologna sandwich and I'm gonna tell you why if you've never heard this term of the bologna sandwich it's meanings they they say it's like when when you have you're at one customer's house then the other customer books and then the other customer books they come together and that's a bologna sandwich <laughs> so that's kind of what it happened to me uh, mine's a little bit differently so I'm gonna call it the Serrano sandwich. And that because uh, the, the story behind this one is I, uh, I service a customer literally right on the other side of this building uh, where I do her um, ceramic coating maintenance uh, bi-weekly. And as I was doing her vehicle, um, this, uh, this gentleman from this company uh, asked me what I was doing. And I told him, he was like, hey, when you finish, cross over to our side, look at some of my cars and see what you can do. So once I finished that um, with that customer, I crossed over and I was blessed uh, because you guys saw um, the black dually I did a couple days ago for the hand wax video. I did that vehicle we're doing a ceramic coating on this vehicle and then i have a, another <coughs> vehicle to do which is going to be a hand wax as well so i call that the serrano sandwich i didn't get the other person on the other side maybe another customer but i got three cars out of here and that is my serrano sandwich when you book three cars in one place so shout out to joel and sal I'm gonna enjoy my bologna sandwich. Mm. Claro que sí, ahorita le doy una tarjeta. Dale. O dame tu número y lo grabo porque la tarjeta se me va a perder. Um, 469. Espérame. Dale. 274 8267. Y mi nombre es uh, Carlos. Carlos, ok. Carlos. ¿Y, ¿Y solo los pules o también los limpies de adentro? También detenido? hago interiores también, sí, okay. todo. Carlos, detailing. Mándame por mensaje el número que te marqué. Ok. En tu sitio en YouTube. Ok, Thank perfecto. Y esa mujer que estaba hablando que estaba hablando quiere un ceramic coating en su vehículo. So, I did get a bologna sandwich. We're using 
the Drive Auto. This is from their Victory line. This is Victory Nano Coating Seal, Marine Aviation, and RV Ceramic Coating. Now, I know what you're thinking. Nowhere in this ceramic coating does it say car, right? But the beauty of this coating, if you are kind of think outside the box, Marine Aviation and RV, these are um, vehicles and airplanes that are in high heat, that are outside all the time. Therefore, it is the perfect coating for a dually truck, especially black, especially when maybe they don't have it in the garage at all times. You know, this is going to be the perfect ceramic coating. And I'm going to tell you guys, I was really impressed on this coating and let me show you why so application guys it is very easy obviously keep it uh very short you know you don't want to um over extend it keep it always in a small section thankfully i am working inside so this is gonna work really really well so I usually do circular motion and then I just come back and just blend it in. And you're about to see probably one of my most favorite parts of this coating. Um, I will say the price on this one, it is on the premium side. So just know that if you ever go with the cam, this is not one of those coatings that is gonna be $90. This coating is probably like, I think it's like 300. I could be wrong. So we are roughly maybe about 10 seconds in you don't want to leave this coating on there very long. I think that should be enough, right? But let me show you why this is my favorite coating by far from the whole um, Victory line. Check this out. Look at how easy this is coming off. Minimal effort. Minimal, minimal effort. And the slickness you get from this coating oh my god it is one very different coating but the reason i am loving this line or this seal coating is because of how easy it is to buff off and that's it that is oh my god look at that gloss guys all right i'll go ahead and let me do it once again so you guys can see I usually do maybe like just one line and always split it in half. And then do my circular motion. The reason I'm doing circular is just so I can get like good blending of this product. You don't have to, you can do your cross hatch or up and down. I just kind of try different things obviously uh ivan lacroix does the circular motion and then i'll just go up and down just to finish the blending honestly one thing i notice is kind of like the the geon can code the way it performs like if i keep blending it in it's like if it dissolves <laughs> if that makes sense but We'll give it a couple more seconds. You guys are getting some real time footage on this. And time to buff off. Look at, look at this. Look, I don't know if you guys can notice. Just look at that, how easy that is. Look at that, easy. Of course, this is not a coating for a starter detailer. This is not a ceramic coating that I recommend somebody that is just starting. This is not the coating for you. One minor mistake can cost you some, some time lost, maybe going back and having to repolish because you left high spots all over. A black car is the hardest one to, I feel like, to work with. But wow. That buff off is just insane, 
insane. <laughs> I got Cam nailed it on this one. I wanted to show you guys how I do the grill. Uh, this is a way many detailers tend to use it. Um, we're gonna be using a airbrush kit. This one here, I purchased this, purchased it from Amazon for like, I think it was like $120. Uh, it came with obviously the hose, the pump, and this little airbrush gun. Um, and the reason this is good is because you're able to get into intricate areas where maybe your fingers don't reach. Perfect for wheel coatings. Um, this is really, really well. We're gonna put the PSI down to like, maybe like 30. And we already have the coating in here. We already have the coating in here. So we're gonna put our mask on and we're gonna get to this last face. And make sure you wear a mask, because boy, this coating, you can smell it. Of course, I can never put my mask on. Ow! Jesus Christ. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna get you guys closer so you guys can see a little bit on how this performs. Um, so, check it out. It's very easy to do. The PSI, I have it to like 30 to be uh, 20. And here we go. I will say, I recommend you go ahead and buy you maybe three or four of these if, you, if it's in your finances. If not, the best way to keep this in great condition is after you use it put some lacquer thinner in here and then just spray it out so it doesn't clog up the tip i will say if you don't clean it out your next time you use it it ain't gonna work so Um, one of the things that I get asked a lot or some of you guys have asked is if you guys can see what I give my uh, customers when I finish their ceramic coating. So really quickly, I hope it doesn't overheat. This phone has been overheating because it is so hot. All right, really quickly, uh, my customers usually get a nice little string bag like this uh, that pretty much just has my logo. Inside the bag, usually uh, there's different things. Usually they get a drying towel, they'll get a couple of different items, but today, they got the auto fiber uh, drying towel. This is the amphibian. They also receive a nice wash monster um, wash mitt. And they also receive, shout out to auto fiber for making this thing. Looks like my left hand. Check it out. Look, that's my left hand. And look at this glove. Looks just like my left hand. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but this is the wheel like wash mitt, right? And they also receive my most favorite product that I use daily, the DIY ceramic gloss. This is more of for them uh, in case I can't get to their vehicles for their maintenances and they can definitely wash their own vehicle and apply a nice topper to it, right? Um, but this month, um, I actually did something different, which was every customer that purchased a ceramic coating um, at no discounted price, right? At full price, uh, they were going to receive, check this out. They got a bottle of probably the most hardest tequila to get at this moment, right? Uh, they got a bottle of the Gran Malo. This is a spicy tamarindo. It is amazing. Um, so as a gift, I gave them this bottle here. Uh, the owner of the vehicle does not drink, but his family does. So he was like, I'll take it, right? <coughs> so uh, they ended up... Um, <laughs> I gave it to them and they celebrated. Um, uh, they were celebrating that I think they are going to be moving to a new and bigger place uh, for their business. Um, so they said, perfect timing. They celebrated with a shot of this. If you've never had this, this thing is amazing. Uh, it's an amazing tequila, right? Um, so this is what they got today. This is just for this month. I don't always do this, um, but this month I was like the people who purchased a ceramic coating. I'm going to gladly give them. A nice gift right so this is a little bit of the care package that my customers receive uh, when they buy a 
ceramic coating from me usually. Uh, they are, will always get the DIY gloss because that is my most favorite um, and I enjoy it. So this is Little Care Package uh, for those who have asked. Um, but anyways, it's now time uh, to get to the finish line. Alrighty guys, before I finalize this video, I want to say a huge shout out to Extreme Trailers out here in Red Oak um, for giving me the opportunity to work on their vehicles, which was one uh, dually, we did a hand wax. This one we did a ceramic coating and then we're going to be doing a Jeep probably uh, next week. Uh, we're going to be doing a wax to it, but this vehicle is finally done uh, and you're about to see a little bit of the after pulling this thing out um, it's so hot out here so trying to do shots on this is impossible my phone keeps overheating so i do apologize if some of these clips look horrible uh, but overall this vehicle came out really really well um, i'm very satisfied uh, with the um, project itself right uh, but to finalize this video today we use <coughs> uh, coach kemi f6 with a rupes yellow paired with a max shine m 21 a millimeter and then we also uh, for the ceramic coating, we use Drive Auto Appearance Seal. That is their marine aviation and uh, RV, which is the perfect coating for a dually because this thing is going to take some extreme heat. Uh, it's going to be out in the elements probably all day. Um, so for that scenario is why I switched over to Seal uh, because I want to make sure that this thing gets protected uh, for years to come, right? As far as the maintenance gets done on this truck, any coating is gonna do really well, right? Um, but for today, we use Seal. Uh, my first time using it, so as a first time installer, I have to say I was really impressed um, with the coating, how easy it was to apply, how easy it was to buff off. That was the really cool part uh, because it is a thick coating. Uh, so I was thought it was gonna be more like grabby uh, but really it was more like like you guys saw on the video um, so really really good coating if you're in Dallas or you're looking for a ceramic coating locally uh, y'all go out there to drive out up here and tell them hey Serrano's Mobile sent me right <laughs> uh, and get you a gallon of the um, uh, drive out up here their Lux cockpit conditioner which is my favorite so as always guys I hope this video kind of showcased a little bit of the process of what we did uh, also showcasing a new ceramic coating to you guys um, and as well kind of showcasing a little bit of what I give my customers after for a care kit, right? Uh, so as always, thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. Um, God bless you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video.